Hello everyone. Thank you for watching the Nakamura Tome channel. I'm Yuki. Today, I heard Nakamura Tome has an announcement about product line, so I'd like to interview top management. Hello everyone, I'm Nakamura. Oh, I'm surprised our YouTube channel finally has an interview format. Last time I shooted a video alone for the observation cutting, so I'm glad to have someone to listen to me. That's good to hear. So, do you have any new announcement today? Yes, I do. Today, I'd like to make an announcement about an automation system on YouTube. Oh, that's great. I'm really interested in automation. What kind of product is it? So, starting today, the WI100 NTYC100 can be equipped with a new compact loader. Until now, only the WI150 and the MX100 could be equipped. But now there are two more models. I have a basic question. What is a compact loader? Thank you for your question. A compact loader is an automated system that runs inside the machine to loading and unloading work pieces. The device itself is attached to the right side of the machine as an extension and the arm and hand are stored in this device. What are the advantages of this system? First of all, the height of the whole system, including the compact loader, is exactly the same as that of the standard machine. The height? Is the height of this system an important point? It is very important. When we automate multitask machines and CNC races, we often use bar feeder for bar materials. We often use gantry loaders for slacks. The gantry loader is very fast and is an excellent automation system, but the height of the whole system was a bottleneck for some customers, and they gave up on installing the system. The compact loader is the answer to this problem. So this system was born from the customer's request. When you talk about an automation system, I'm wondering about the size and the weight capacity. How much is it? The diameter of workpiece is from 32 millimeter to 100 millimeter. And this system can hold two, three kilogram workpieces. The workpiece size that are often machined on the WI100 and the NTY3100 are from 10 millimeter to 80 millimeter in diameter. So it's designed to be able to carry work pieces of that size and weight. Is it possible to run the system for a long time? Yes, the standard system is a conveyor system. This conveyor system is also simple and convenient for a certain amount of work. On the other hand, some customers wanted to automate the system for a longer period of time. So we made it possible to dock it with our stocker system. Of course, there are also cases of connecting with third party stocker systems. So it depends on your preference. I see. Long hour operation is going to be a big trend, isn't it? Now that you mentioned it, I'd really like to see the machine. Since we are going to have interview with you today, we've prepared the machine. Let's go to the factory. I'm glad to hear that. So everyone, let's go to the factory together. This is a machine with a compact loader, isn't it? Yes, this is a W150 and the compact loader. There's nothing on top of it. So the height is that of the standard machine. That's right. If you look at just this part, it looks like a standard machine, but the compact loader is stored inside, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'd like to see the movement of this system. Let's push the start button. The arm is coming from the right side. Please stop the movie. You can't see it at this time, but it's a double hand and another hand that is actually hidden behind the cover. This hand already have held the material. So compact loader is checking the finished product and running away. Then the right spindle is picking up workpiece that have been machined by the left spindle. 
and transferring it from right to left. Then chuck at left side is free. The material is loaded. The finished product are bringing to the reverse station. After turning around, the robot on the stalker are picking up the work piece and putting it on the pallet. The robot are putting the material on the reverse station. Compact loader has a long reach, but it's stored compactly, isn't it? That's what we really struggle with. We made effort to fit it into the small space. I think it was a result of the team's ideas and solutions. How do you do teaching? I've heard that automated equipment requires special skills and training. With this operation panel, you can easily control the device. When we talk about teaching, there's an image holding a pendant, memorize the position, and making the passes. But customers who usually use multitasking machines and races find it difficult to understand. We aim to create a familiar automated system by making it visually easy to understand the, on the operation panel. The stalker is also made in your factory, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is a palletizing type stalker called Hakobe. This stalker holds nine parrot as a standard. In terms of this path, we can load about 220 work pieces. The cycle time for this work piece is 12 minutes. So it can be operated continuously for more than 21 hours. That's 220 pieces in this small space. The pallet type seems to make it easy to load materials and carry them around afterwards. The compact loader is attached to the right side of the machine, right? Yes, it is. Since it's attached to the right side, the left side is actually free. So that means you can attach the something we are familiar with. We can equip bar feeder on the left side. That's correct. One of the advantages is that you can use bar feeder when you're using bar material and the compact loader when you're using slack. So it can be used flexibly. It sounds like a very fun system. Time passed quickly as I listened to many questions. Is it enough to make a movie, right? Thank you for watching today's show. If you like this movie, please click the like button and register our YouTube channel. Bye. Bye.